Hey guys, so last video I showed you how to install WAMP Server 2.2 and uh, and I promised in that video that I was going to show you guys you know, the, the different config files and some of the details inside each that might be of, of any use. Now I haven't played around with these too much but just from the first glance at each file you know I could uh, sort of highlight a couple key lines and uh, key sort of uh, extensions and directories uh, inside these files that might be of use to you. So I'm going to just go through the the directory structure here so if you go into your WAMP folder which is underneath your C drive this is where you decide to install it um, you can see that there are two main folders here apps and bin so apps is going to contain PHP my admin which is a key tool that you're going to use to sort of access your database look at your different tables etc and then you're going to have bin which is going to contain your three main components Apache MySQL and PHP so inside of each of these folders are different config files that might be of use to you. Um, I've kind of highlighted them here. Um, you know your PHP uh, .ini, your httpd.conf, and your config.inc.php. So you know this one is your PHP config file. This one's uh, your Apache config file, and this one here is your PHP my main config file. So we looked at this one uh, in the last uh, video where I described how to set that, that password uh, to get rid of the error message inside PHP my admin. So we're going to go in and just look inside the bin folder here and locate these config files. So if you go into the PHP folder, you're going to be able to find this uh, PHP INI right here. So if you open this up with a an editor such as Notepad++, you'll be able to scroll through it and see you know this is quite a long document you're looking at you know two thousand lines of commented out sort of uh, values that you might want to use depending on on your, your setup and you might not so by default you're going to notice that uh, there are not too many lines here that are active um, and not too many of them will make sense to you at first uh, you know I, I'm just starting off as well so a lot of these seem to be you know logging errors etc so we're going to jump into the first line here which I've highlighted as 816. So this is your extension directory uh, for PHP. So this is kind of going to tell it where to find your MySQL uh, sort of extensions, etc. So this is sort of your first link between PHP um, and probably MySQL at this point. Um, so yeah, if we uh, if we go into that folder, let's have a look at that. So if we go, where's that? Uh, WAMP bin PHP five dot five slash extensions. So inside here, you're gonna find um, PHP. Let's see if they have the MySQL one somewhere in here. Here we go. So the MySQL and the MySQL. Uh, improved version so there are two different versions here you can read up online about the differences um, I guess this was the old way of doing it. this is the new way of doing it some more support in the improved one probably some complaints from uh, you know from some people that you know the old one works better it's more stable etc um, so that's kind of your first link to MySQL so now let's go back to where we were at here and um, let's go to line 966 and 967 have a look at what what was there so again yeah so here you're actually sort of choosing the the DLLs that uh, that you want to use so here are the MySQL and MySQL LI you have a couple you know a couple other ones here as well not exactly sure what the use of all these other ones are um, but anyways they're, they're set by default when you install uh, WAMP uh, 2.2. So we'll get out of this one. So those are the couple lines I kind of show you there. We'll jump into the Apache folder and look for this httpd.conf file. And that's going to be under your, your configurations. Here we are. So we're going to open this up with Notepad++. Again, same sort of thing, but not as long of a file. It's not 2,000 lines long, it's only about 500. So if we go to line 127, I highlighted this one here. So we're inside the Apache config file now, and we're referencing the uh, the PHP um, Apache DLL. So now we're sort of, you know, the PHP config file sort of linked to MySQL. Um, this Apache one is now linking to PHP. So we're seeing this sort of connections being made here. 
Um, so this is PHP 5 module. Um, so now we're going to go down to line 178. You can see, you know, you're you're saying ports here, um, but this is this is an, kind of a, a really important line. So basically, what's going to happen here is when you go and type in localhost into you know your your web browser, whether it be you know Mozilla Firefox, whatever, um, and it tries to resolve. Uh, the page, you know, your your index file, your index.html, your index.php. It's going to look in this folder to find it. So, you know, this could be anything. I think by default it was it actually gets set to your um Apache HT doc. So, you can see there's an index file in here, but WAMP has changed it to be WAMP uh, slash www. So, you'll notice if you go back to the main structure here, you'll see this folder here which they've added in an index.php and a test mysql.php so they've changed this slightly if you're to, you know compared to installing it manually so we'll go back in here I understand the config file so that's where it was so that would that's that's a very important line so you can change this um, you'll have to restart your Apache server if you go and change anything inside any of these config files um, they're all sort of red on startup, so you'll have to re, re, you know, restart your server. So on startup, it, it reads the new configurations. Um, so line uh, two forty three is the next one. So you can see there there are some sort of uh, permissions, etc., um, or at least orders. Uh, but the line I want is this one here. So this is important in the sense that say you're messing around and you're you're creating some index.php files and you're wondering you know why something's loading you know a certain page all the time you know maybe you have an index.html and you have an index.php but it's consistently reading the index.php and you're 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 expecting to read the html one well this kind of like lists you at the order so basically basically if it finds index.php it's going to load that one first and if it can't find this file, it's going to jump and look for a PHP dot or dot PHP three extension. Can't find that one, it moves on and moves on. So at the end here, you can go and type like main dot HTML. So if you didn't have any index files, it would go to main. And basically, in the end, if it doesn't find any of these, you know, you're you're going to get a sort of error, four four error, whatever. It can't find the file, or it can't open the page. So that's an important line in here as well now I'm not gonna look at much more inside this file don't believe there's too much else I want to look at here okay so we're gonna jump out of this and go to the PHP config and quickly show you that config file again there aren't any real config files inside uh, my SQL that I could find you have WAMP server config that's just a text file so uh, it's not too much in here. Um, that's probably something just created strictly for this WAMP 2.2 bundled version. It might not be something that you find in a, in a standalone uh, install of this. So, yeah, so the, I don't have anything really to look at inside there. So, we're going to jump into the apps, PHP My Admin, um, and we're going to look for this conf.inc.php. Here we go. And this is the one we looked at in the last video, and we set our password. So I've set it to pass zero one. So when you go into uh, localhost, let's pop this open here. So uh, localhost PHP my admin. Firefox cannot establish. Do we not have it started? does not look like we even have it started so do we have a sh quick shortcut here to our WAMP server start WAMP server yes you can see the icon there it looks good now whoopsies let's get out of the YouTube localhost so that's working. Let's try PHP my admin index dot PHP. Boom, we're in. So 
you know, this is the password that we set and we went under privileges and we had changed our, our privileges here to use this password so that uh, we got rid of that sort of error message at the beginning of, uh, of login here. So that was that. Um, so not much else is, is important in here, at least to us for now. You know, when you go in, when you go live with with this sort of you know server, then you're going to be setting a lot of these other other things inside of here. But uh, when you're just testing this out for yourself, you just want to get a, a basic setup going so you can start messing around, learning the language, etc. Then uh, not all of those are too important. So, anyways, so those were the three config files. That's pretty well all I wanted to show you guys today. You know, you can access all these config files through this little shortcut menu here. You can see the PHP INI there, um, the Apache config files here. So they, you know, even WAMP, um, the the bundled server has sort of identified these as being sort of important um, config files. So you know, you have your WW directory. Um, as well your PHP MyAdmin and localhost so when you're testing around it's a quick way to just sort of link there rather than having to type in your web browser so anyways yep yeah, so if you make any changes to these, these config files just make sure you uh, restart your server uh, otherwise you'll be questioning why it's not working you know and uh, maybe even uh, clear out your history or cache if uh, if you're still having issues and you don't feel that your your uh, your page is loading the correct data Anyways, uh, until next video, uh, where I'll be showing you guys uh, how to install all the separate components and get a get it working. So there's there's one sort of hurdle in this process to get PHP MyAdmin working when you when you install your uh, your Apache MySQL um, PHP all separately. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to, how to get around that. And uh, anyways, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye.